Hello and welcome. Hey, I'm going to be trying out the sluice box mats that I made with the silicone. These are the molds that I used to make it. Um, they were just uh, tubes of silicone and Dawn dish soap, and some of them were made with cornstarch. Um, yeah, it's a little chilly out here, and I'm dressed for it. It's about oh 22 degrees this morning. So let me get the camera here. I'm not completely all set up. I haven't tried them yet, but here's what we got going. We're just gonna run the recirculating head today. Nothing fancy. Um, these are the ones made with cornstarch. Um, these ones are dish soap and silicone. And I didn't even finish off the rest of the sluice box. We'll just see how this goes. I, guess I have no idea how this is going to go, but it will tell me whether or not I'm at least on the right track or if I just need to scrap the whole idea altogether. But we've got some dirt over here. This is Home Depot tube sand. I have no idea if there's any gold in here. I know last year when I bought this stuff, some of the bags had some pretty decent gold in it. Of course, not enough to pay for the tube sand, but what I'm already noticing is it doesn't have the a lot of quartz like it had last year. It still looks like the same stuff, just not as much quartz. I don't know. That doesn't look too bad. So we'll run this through and see what we get. Said I haven't even turned it on. I don't have my hose hooked up, so. Let me get this thing turned on and see if my idea of the silicone sluice max mats will even work at all. Okay, we got the thing running now. And I guess we'll just start scooping in some dirt. See what happens. I know this up here is a pretty aggressive mat. No idea what will happen. Well, first scoop looks good. What I'm looking for is a decent exchange rate without totally clearing out the ripples. It's definitely not plugging up. That's a good sign. It's all staying active. Um, I am running my 2,000 a gallon an hour pump today. I figured, you know, that's what I run with the high banker and the trommel. So. That's generally what I use, so why not put it to a real good test? Well, I don't see anything wrong with that at all. Yeah, we're clearing out a little bit up here at the top. Um, I'm not surprised. Let's see if I can get this down here where you can see it. Well, they're not falling apart, so that's a good sign. We're cleaning out up here a little bit. And we are down here a little bit. We might be just a hair bit too steep. But all in all, it's like it's working really good. I have no complaints.
a hair too steep. Let me see if I can adjust this without causing a mess here. This stuff looks pretty close to quarter inch screen down. And that's what I usually screen down to anyway. So I can see the black sand and stuff going over the top here. That's all staying active. It's not just packing in there. That's a good sign. Well, so far so good. I'll just keep running this sand and run that bucket of dirt. Maybe we got some gold, maybe we don't. All right, well, almost done running this bucket of Home Depot sand. Um, all in all, I think I'm pretty happy. I mean, they're not collapsing. They're holding together. So whether we find any gold in this or not, um, I'll take that as a win. Um, one thing I did notice when I was trying to put these together is that Gorilla Tape will not stick to this stuff. Whether it's the cornstarch or the dish soap, it wouldn't stick so I just had to cut them to fit. And in case anything got down the sides, I just went ahead and added in uh, my carpet on the bottom of the sluice mats. So I think that'll catch anything if anything gets down on the sides. Um, so the Gorilla Tape wouldn't work to attach them together. So I went ahead and lined them up and just uh, used silicone and siliconed them together, front and back. So they seem to hold pretty good. We'll just finish this up. So what's next? Well, whether we find any gold in this today or not, I think the next step is to finish off my sluice box. To get a few more patterns in there, fill up the sluice box with some mats, and then I'll get some Home Depot sand. I've got some more of it. And we'll add a bunch of gold to it and see if we can catch all the gold and see how that works. So, let me go ahead and just finish running this out and we'll do a clean up and see if we got any gold or not. Who knows, but I'm pretty dang happy with the way those are working. Holes cleaned out pretty nice. Okay, all done cleaning up. If you can see it or not, kind of blurry, about 15 little specks of gold and two garnets. So there was a little bit of gold in there, but I call my little test for the sluice box max mats a success. So I'll just continue on and make a few more designs. Uh, 
boy guys I sure appreciate the comments in the last video and the ideas for uh, helping mix these things up and stuff but I think the dish soap ones are gonna work just fine they're firm enough so I'm gonna bypass the cornstarch ones because that is a pain in the butt so anyway we'll load up some uh, Home Depot sand next time and put quite a bit of gold in there and see what we come up with thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe give me a like if you like my video and we'll catch you next time bye now